What's up everyone? So today is going to be a video with me and my good friend Riyadh and we're basically going to be exposing what we do on a daily basis when it comes to prospecting and appointment setting. Now, what's going to be special about this video is it's going to be barely filtered. Like I'm barely going to cut some things out, barely edit it, just so you really get an idea of what we're doing day to day and that we have really nothing to hide. And you're going to see live in the flesh what I'm thinking what's going through my mind when I'm trying to book people in for a call or when I'm trying to advance the conversation because I know a lot of people struggle with this. So if you're ready to watch, this is going to be a good 30 minutes of jam-packed value and information. And if you still have any questions, if you need help, DM me on Instagram at the Matt Jacob. Both of our Instagrams will be in the description below. But without further ado, let's get into this. I just wanted to add as well, most people would be hiding this behind some Facebook group or, you know, their program or their course. But we thought we'd be, we were feeling charitable. So we thought we'd give it to you for free on YouTube for you to see and watch over and over again. So hope you enjoy it. Get into it. Okay, basically sharing my screen because this guy, we, we filmed it yesterday and this guy, did something to make it disappear on the thinner. I don't know what magic trick that is, but we're doing take two of live appointment setting. We're live, yeah, yeah live appointment setting, and you're gonna get to pick my brain on how we do things day to day instead of pointing. Yeah. And business. you might get a part two, just saying, maybe if it's if it depends on what the reaction is on the first one. Yeah, true. Yeah, so it's on you guys. If you guys want a part two, just put it down in the comments. Simple. Very simple. Oh, okay. So and bear in mind, guys, like this kind of exclusive exclusivity we only give to our clients, but we thought, you know what, why not? One off on YouTube. Yeah, exactly. No one else in the industry is doing it. So you know what? Why not? Exactly. You guys yeah. how it actually is done. Yeah, most most people in the industry they they'll hide it behind like a like a Facebook group or for their clients, but you know what? Let's give away the farm today. Show you, yeah. show you what we're doing. Like in my program, I help clients with this. I, like at the moment, I've structured it so like the first week you join, it's like daily or every other day, over the shoulder appointment setting guidance. Like literally what we're doing right now. So you're gonna get that if you sign up. But um, this is this is what it looks like, and we're gonna have to explain the basics to them. So how do we explain this? Let's um, let's keep it simple. So. Principles of appointment setting. Keep the frame. Yeah, keep the frame. Okay. So what that means is whenever they ask you questions, depending, I mean, 99% of the time you don't reply, but depending on the conversation, we can't give you exact word for word scripts because this is not how we do conversations. Um, depending on the conversation, we like to just see how it goes and just keep it extremely conversational. Uh, and yeah, keep the frame. So like, literally just don't answer their questions just continue asking them questions but keep it as conversational as possible at the same time um and you guys must be wondering well how the fuck do you guys keep it conversational without ask without replying to their questions that is exactly what me and Matt are going to show you today yeah and bear in mind this has helped one of my clients uh book 108 calls in one month and another one of my clients Vegard uh book i think four to seven calls a week and for myself i'm able to book about on average one to two but now since i got an appointment set up i'm gonna ramp that up to about two to five a day exactly yeah that's awesome and pretty much before i got i don't know if i'm allowed to say this but before i got in touch with riyadh uh both of us were actually struggling we had a drought back in January, February, March, I'd say, barely booking calls and then pretty much joined, like we connected, started doing these daily calls that like we're doing this day. This is stuff we do daily. And just like that, we're booking calls again, like one to two to three a day. It and it was not because of, we didn't know how to have the conversations. It was just more of a mindset thing about, okay, at this point, if you know what you need to say, why don't you just say it? What's like holding you back from saying it's literally it's literally just accountability. It's yeah. literally accountability. We just couldn't be bothered. 
He yeah. literally couldn't be bothered. So that's my that's our two cents. Sometimes yeah. we need is accountability. So definitely yeah. find an accountability partner if you're going alone with this. Yeah, exactly. And like the people that um lazy, dude, it's gonna be really hard for you to set appointments. Yeah, that's 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 pretty much it. So let's yeah. So first thing, I promise you, okay, we're gonna get through these three principles and then we'll go through conversations. Um I know we are tight on time, but keep it keep the frame, keep it casual. So because 99% of other business owners they'll come in your inbox or maybe you're making that mistake of you going in their inbox and you pitching them straight away and that's it's going to lead to disaster they're not going to read it so just literally treat it like you're talking to a like a good friend who happens to be in business and you can see you can help them out that's that's literally the frame i have when i enter these convos it's no no salesy sleazy slimy thing it's not it's not bad you get them on an appointment you're actually helping them you're doing them a service because you know it's like their way out of their current situation which is painful they're, maybe they're stuck in business you're helping them get out by and then you're just offering to book a one-on-one call to talk about that just more so keep it casual you're just like talking to a friend who's in business and then the last thing is to just be consistent give it time and reps because mm-hmm. just like any other skill just like riding a bike this can all yeah, be basically there. All right. I think the biggest thing if you want to get really really good at this I mean like you can do this for your own business or you can even go and become an appointment seller for someone and work as a commission based appointment seller and if you get really really good at this there is demand for something like this out there in the market and the easiest way to get really really good at this is just to be consistent like every single day talk to 20 to 50 people without hesitation and just have conversations whether you book in a call that day or not just get the reps in and over time it will get so easy that booking calls is just like this exactly 100 percent, 100 percent. let's find some juicy convo yeah but what do i say to this guy we will come back to I, I wanna i wanna just leave him alone but I think, yeah, because he's, he's focused on e-commerce now. Yeah. Like, look, exactly. Like, this guy, Abdullah, used to well, run an agency. Now he stopped and he's focusing on e-commerce. Now, Matt can't exactly help with that directly. So he just let it go and moved on. Like, there's no harm in doing that. There's plenty of efficiency. Yeah, that's another thing. Like you, you guys get so desperate when you're trying to set appointments, and it shows. So, just like everyone's re- as as cold as it sounds, everyone's replaceable, and just don't hang on to one person. Just don't be attached. Yeah, uh, if they don't, if they leave you on red, it's calm. If, if they decide to have a conversation with you, that's also calm. Literally, it's like in it's like when you're gonna go get a girl when you don't show mm. no interest, but the girl has interest in you. She runs up to you. But when you show the slightest bit of interest, she stops showing interest and then you wonder why. Literally the same thing. I guess that's the best analogy I can give to everyone as yeah. extremely generic. And one of the analogy is like in sales, when you show that you're detached away from the sale and you don't really care about the outcome, the prospect really wants to work with you. And when you show the complete opposite, they want to run away from you as fast as possible. Really well, we work with less than five clients, but they're high tickets. It's actually quite nice. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, I lost. Only five clients? Or how many would she like to be in? Or how many more she in for? And what's her plan? Maybe it's too early. It's early. Oh, that's awesome. Only. Oh, shit. That, that kind of contradicts itself. I'm saying it's awesome, then I'm also saying only. Okay, so I, I, I fuck up. See, I fuck up too. I it's fuck you, up it's too. normal. Normal. You work with less than five clients. Oh, okay. Just five clients? Well, Matt, well, why, do you, why do you be like, oh, okay, well, that's nice. Oh, yeah, makes sense before you ask your next question. Okay. Watch, yeah, makes sense. 
just five lights. Why do you do that? Because then she can talk about like no 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 well why do you do oh okay makes sense and then send the question oh because validation you always want to be giving validation validation because most here's what i mean by that i what most people do is they'll is they'll just grill the other person question after question after question after question and you're, you're surprised why they leave you in red it's just okay it's, a, it's like an interview no one wants to be in an interview and you're not, you know, it's not enjoyable for anyone making it like a job interview. So the way to kind of soften the blow, make sure it's not like that. You get something called validation where it's just like remarks. Uh, if you've studied social skills, you know, this is just like, Oh, okay. Gotcha. Makes sense. Yeah. That's awesome. Oh, cool. Love it. And I always send that always, always, always just cause like it's, a, it makes them feel heard. And if you, re if you read, um, what's the book called? How to Win Friends and Influence People. People just want to feel important and heard. That's one of the, that's one of our desires. Makes them feel heard, makes them feel understood. And again, it just helps it not be so, so like a job, a job interview breaks up. Exactly. And like, don't, um, what's this thing? Don't confuse validation with confirmation bias. Don't confirm what they're doing, whether it's right or wrong. Just give validation about yeah. it. I hear, look, oh, we'll go through this conversation. Actually, no, this is pretty short. This is pretty short. But look, this is one example. Oh, love it, for sure. So instead of just going like, how's that been going lately? I could have just said that, but maybe it would have built less rapport. So to build more rapport, I always do validation. So it's like, oh, love it, for sure. Just like you were talking to them in real life. Okay. It's just like, it's no different. Going well, I just need to make it the priority so I can really take off. Um, I don't really want, okay. I'll go, I'll go less, less salesy on this guy because we're connected in like another group and I just want to be friends with him. But like, I'll see, I'll see where it goes. He's in a, another program that I'm in as well. We just connected so good bro i've been learning a funnel web design and see i might be having the wrong mindset about it because all it is is just you genuinely you another thing from how to win friends and influence people it carries on to appointments and you genuinely want to give a fuck yeah. you actually you actually be interested in what they're saying okay because it, it goes a long way so i i'm actually genuinely interested because this guy is like he does track and field at his school at the moment when I talk to him in real life. And uh, now he's getting into funnel and, and web design, maybe copywriting as well. So I'm like genuinely interested in what made him get into that from track and field. Like, that's just interesting to me. So going well, it's just to make it a priority so I can take off. You can ask him how long he's been doing it for if you haven't. Um, how long, how long, uh, yeah, how long has he been doing it for? To be honest, it's been, it's been all right. I've been getting a lot of leads, but it's a way since I don't go to good opponents today. Good to know my strategies work, but now I gotta go get them a course and stuff. Perfect. See, perfect. Oh, okay. Sorry. Doing all right. Getting lots of leads basically since I don't. I would take out per week or just post them from them. And then if he tells you how many, then be like per week, question mark. It's true. Hi, okay. 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 
Hey, this guy's not a sale. He's not a sales call. He's just a networking call. So I'm gonna sort, sort that out later. Mark ups and downs. Okay, this is the crypto guy. Affecting sales. What kind of ups and downs? Okay, market ups and downs affect the sales. Oh, for sure, gotcha, affecting sales. Yep. See, I'm trying to think of what to say here. Because this guy is, this guy in this case is being blunt. Oh. Not blunt, but dry. How has it been affecting sales? Yeah, but I don't even know the, I'm, even I forgot the context. Of NFT project. NFT marketing. Thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's let's go back up. So, okay, okay. So, what do you sell, by the way? Marketing. Oh shoot, marketing agency. Yeah, nice dude. How's it been going? See validation. Not bad. Just depends on the crypto market. Also, because I'm working with projects only, so it has up and ups and downs as everything. Just depends on the crypto market. I think what I'm confused about here is like, how does marketing agency tie into crypto and stuff? How do I know it's like not two separate things, like two separate businesses? Like why are we even asking about crypto and stuff? Only so it has its up and down. And everything. Okay, sorry to hear that, but what kinds of ups and downs? Market ups and downs. And crypto market? See, okay, yeah, this is where I'm confused now. Yep. I don't know if he means crypto market. He has to, right? I think that's what he means, yeah. How does that affect marketing agents? That's what I'm saying. Ask him how. You like, know, oh, okay, how? See, okay, here now, exactly. So I'm I'm genuinely confused. It's like I'm not at this point, I'm not even asking questions for the sake of asking questions. I'm like genuinely confused. So I'm gonna ask him. All right. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Um, actually, you say you mean the actually are confused. So, market. So, the your agencies, yeah. Let me know. Hurt me if I'm wrong. Oh, this guy again. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I don't want to talk to this guy. Continued growth in efficiency. Uh, I have a feeling he knows what you're doing, and that's why he's holding back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think. I so, think you bro. need to like, nah, flip the frame. So, like, you know the way we were talking earlier, how asking you want to ask questions that want to get you to your end goal, but you have to ask them in different ways sometimes. If you can get a figure or mark based off what he just said, you can book him into a call. I don't know though. I I feel like this one's a lost cause because it's been going on for so long. Like he knows. Fine, dude. Just continue the convo. Uh, this way it will allow you to learn to make conversation short and help you get to your end goal faster. Fine, fine. I'll keep talking with this guy, even though I don't want to. Fine. Sometimes you got to do it for I'm, the biz, I'm bro. Being forced. I'm being forced against my will. Bro. Sometimes you got to do it for the biz, bro. Yeah, but this this guy, an oyster, doesn't want to open up. Yes, it is like, I'm trying to help. <laughs> Continued growth in an as efficient and sustainable way. How about you? Same. If you can get a figure amount from that guy, then you can book him into a call. How many? How much money? <laughs> what's, what's your target revenue <laughs> for Q4? Nah, you wouldn't ask that. 
continued growth in an efficient and sustainable way. How about you, dude? You can be like, cool, dude. Uh, what did, what's that looking like over the next couple of months? He knows. He knows what we're trying to do. Yeah, he oh. does. At this point, I think he does. But I think you can still ask him that question. No, nah, ignore his question, bro. Dude. Continued growth in an efficient and sustainable way. How about you? Nice. What's that looking? What's that? What's that looking like? Yeah, over the next couple of months. And if he doesn't give you a nice answer to that, I would switch the conversation to completely off business and then bring it back. Bro. Until you book him into a call. Oh, dude. Okay. Fine. Fine. What all do you do? All do you do? <laughs> I didn't want to talk to this guy. That's why I didn't ask a question. But I guess I have to know. I think this is going to be my second 20 to 30 minute video on my channel. Nice. Yeah. I'm forcing him to talk more. Talk for longer. This guy just waffles and he's telling me I should start waffling. So if you yeah. guys want me to start waffling, comment down below. He's waffle. It's good for What do you like on your waffles? Is it Oreo? Is it Biscoff? Is it chocolate ice cream? <laughs> <laughs> uh, awesome dude both the places I'd love to travel to one day what all do you do I do the dance, dancing I a professional football player I agree I dare you I dare you oh shit If you're watching this, I'm I'm gonna put this on my story, like just like every YouTube video. If you're watching this and you're in this video and I'm talking to you right now, I have no shame. <laughs> I, I literally have no shame. And we're just having fun here. And if you think appointments at like me, oh, he's trying to get me. He was trying to get me on an appointment this whole time, dude. It's it's not. What did you think for, I was talking to you for? It's for a good I got all the time in the day to have a conversation with some random person. I don't it's even for a good know. cause. It's for a good cause. It's not some pyramid scheme, okay? It's not horrible life. <laughs> it's for a good cause. We're planning good on cause building time. homes in China. Yeah, yeah, we're trying to go. <laughs> Since that one child policy is gone now, there's going to be overpopulation. So, yeah. Um, trying to help the Chinese. Is there so pursuing a plan? Yep, starting a small course online. And no, I'm not being racist because Matt looks Chinese because he's actually from Philippines. Mm. Yeah, I mean, we could build houses in Philippines. I don't mind. Yeah, whatever works. Whatever works. Building some publicity for me as a photographer. Working on my site, doing how I want it. The bags will be got. Eventually, I'll brand out into other language material as well as life coaching. Jesus, I time. want to do so many things. Um... You can ask him what the main focus is at the moment. Yes. You can be like, um, oh, okay. Oh, it sounds like you've got loads of things on your plate there. This guy is telling him respect. If yeah. you're watching this video, I told him to say this, the complete opposite. Respect. Got a lot. Got. Okay, what's the question? Yes, it sounds like you've got loads of things on your plate. Uh, what's the main focus at the moment, bro? Yeah. What? Which one are you focused on? 
Um, and if you guys are wondering how do I just come up with these questions on the spot, it's just asking them based off what they've told me and a shit ton of fucking practice. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's, you you got you to gotta ask questions or say things based off what they told you. Again, this is why we don't really like using the script because you're not paying attention to Because then you're like missing out what they say and you can't reply off of that just like a normal conversation like if you're if you're going to a dinner party would you how would you react if you uh, you had a dinner party with me i start talking to you and i have a whole script in my hand i'm reading off it <laughs> like how retarded would i look <laughs> why my name is Matt. no no you don't do that so I'm trying to yeah give you a slap across your face bro. yeah you slap me you'd slap me you'd slap me real would slap me if i didn't know this guy and I just met him. I, I pull out my pocket a little script. <laughs> oh, this guy's got a script. It looked like a different level degenerate. Exactly. It looked like a Jeffrey. So, it looked like Jeffrey. <laughs> that's amazing, man. Respect. Which one are you focused on right now? Uh, just looks like, looks like you got got on Side, do you know anyone that, there that's cool? Oh, it's uh, another person. Another person in, my pro, in the same program as mine. Uh, yeah, do you know anyone that, I'm not sure, but not sure yet. But, oh, man. You talk to so many people. But, you know, yeah, fine. I didn't know you own the luxury lifestyle. You didn't know I owned this? No. What? No. I'm... You didn't know I owned this? No. I've been preaching. I've, I've been talking about how I owned it for like a year, two years. Like... No. Did you build it up on scratch? Yeah, zero. Or You're thirty k nine, nine months. Yeah, and this is this is a while ago. It's an old page. I don't use it anymore. But basically, grew it from zero to one hundred, not one hundred k, zero to thirty k in nine months. This is before reels. This is back in twenty nineteen. No reels, just learning the Instagram growth game, and that's kind of that's pretty much my foot in the door with entrepreneurship and online business. It's pretty cool. Is there worksheet? Okay. Ooh, worksheet. Ooh, worksheet. Yeah, so he wants a... Yeah, one second. <laughs> if you're watching this, I'm sorry. <laughs> I am so sorry. <laughs> He's probably going to watch it. Bro, I am so sorry. I don't think... It's viable for us to tell you exactly what's going on here. You might get in a part two. Actually, um, hmm. unless Matt wants to tell you. Maybe we'll hold it for part two, Matt. Yeah, I'll hold it for part two. Yeah. Well, you didn't ask him a question, you idiot. I don't want to. I've known this guy for ages. Like, so we're friends. What, bro? We're friends, dude. <laughs> <laughs> this guy said work sheet. Uh, I should stop being a pussy then. I want you, know you know what, Matt? Yeah, Maybe. one second, man. Let me get it. Um. Oh, actually, no, no, no I have a valid reason why I, call, I shouldn't send the worksheet because, actually, no, no, I'll send. It. I'll um, I'll carry. Oh, uh, Matt, good one. Yeah. Do you think we should use this like we used worksheet? Hmm? Do you think we should use this like we used worksheet? <laughs> You're a menace, bro. Maybe part two. Yeah. Part two, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, part okay. two, 
If you guys want part two, you got to fucking comment part two or DM either me or Matt part two. Yeah, DM us on Instagram. Literally DM us part two. Yeah, so it'll be it'll be the same thing recorded, but you get to, the differences. You get it all for yourself if you ask for it. Okay, part two. So yeah, how's that? You wanna add? You wanna make it a bit more juicier? I mean, part two, part two of appointment setting. How well, we can make it a bit more juicier. How? Oh, okay, okay. I got an idea. I'll send them. So I know we said don't use a script, but there's there's a difference between script and guidelines. Guidelines being like the basics. And if you guys are new to appointment setting or you're really just struggling, you don't know what the fuck you're doing, I'll send you over my appointment setting manifesto, which is basically guidelines on how, how I learned all this stuff and how to do it. Yeah, that's a, that's a good offer. Um, you're just a blow off. I was thinking even more juicier. How so? Maybe you get one or two people on here. Who have problems with appointment setting? What, like a guest? Go on then. Maybe, okay, so let's break it down, yeah? Part one, we're literally going to give this to you guys for free. Go and watch it, enjoy. But if you want a part two, you've got to DM us, part two, and comment in the YouTube section, part two. And if we get at least 10 DMs and 10 comments on YouTube, then we'll release a part two to the specific people that have DM'd us. And we'll go one extra, fur- one extra step further where if Matt wants, he can give his manifesto away. Right? And if you guys want, you can DM Matt for the manifesto. If you guys want, you can join us in one of these calls and for us to break down appointment setting with you on the call we can record it as well if you guys want that we'll we'll break down your call we'll break down your conversations if you guys want that as well dm us and what should i do the, do again i'm kidding just confuse don't confuse them basically dm us yeah just dm us dm us part two dm us the word part two yeah just dm us the word part two we need at least 10 people dming us that if they want it all right cool uh okay okay worksheet yeah one second man let me get it what um what should i ask here so this is a future the future self worksheet if you want the future self worksheet dm me worksheet as well because i i made a video i made a video on that and how to use it so what should i say no, 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 no. I don't think I should give it. I, I think I should just give it to the guy, honestly. No, 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 no. Now, they'll get this part in the part two, bro. Leave it for the part two. Reply to it later. Just, let's just do one more conversation. And then, yeah, fortunately, we won't be able to book a call today because Matt's conversations are really dry. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? No, I'm joking. Right now, it is dry. It is dry because I feel like I can help a lot of, in a lot of areas from exercise technique to how exercise benefits mental health. The customer now, how do I know where the most customers are for different niche? Okay, so I'm not going to answer that because then I'll be giving away the frame. So instead, I'm gonna just go off of what he said. I feel like I can like, try and leverage some pain out of it. I can feel okay. I- because I feel like I can help in a lot of areas from exercise um, technique to how exercise benefits mental health. Wants him to narrow it down. Like, oh, okay, what have you tried to what have you tried to narrow it down? Or how have you tried to narrow it down? So I just ask him. Well, he has he can't seem to narrow it down. Yeah, but he must have tried to narrow it down. I just ask him what he's tried so far. Yeah, basically. No, I should gotcha. I mean, what? Have you tried so far? What's what? Uh, is there any short, short convos? Nah, that's good. Anyway, call it a day there. So, 
So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you guys want part two, again, just DM us part two or comment in the YouTube section part two. Um, this is a permanent setting 101. <laughs> Hi, bro. Good call. And uh, like, comment, subscribe. And to both our channels. If you're new, subscribe to both our channels. Yeah. We are Benmani and Matt Jacob. And yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you found it valuable. And DM us part two if you really want that part two. And my Instagram is Riyad Bimani. It will also be in the description. Matt says Matt Jacob. The Matt Jacob. Yeah, I'm trying the to get Matt Jacob. Yeah, the Matt Jacob. Yeah, the Matt Jacob. And his will be on his YouTube channel in the description. We'll post this up. And if you guys really do want part two, again, DM us part two. All right, take cool. care, guys. Take care.